Hey YouTube, that one guy 116 here from the Top Gamers, and today I have a video on how to make a custom IP for your Minecraft bucket server. Of course, to do this, you will need a bucket server, as I have here. To make, learn how to make a bucket server, you will have to watch my previous video. The link for that will be in the description. So let's get back to this. So first, you will need to open up your internet browser. And you want to go to freedns.afraid.org. So we'll type that in this. freedns.afraid.org. It take you something something like this. Of course, you will need to register, which you can find along here. And I'm just going to go straight to this. And I'm just going to quickly log in. Sorry, but this takes a little bit. Now, I have my bucket server, which is buildercraft.spacetechnology.net, and my IP address is here. But your essential IP address will uh, continuously change. See, my last IP was here. 124.184.13.78 and it has changed so if you want to add one you go add it will usually come up with your destination IP here this is your IP now now if you want to set your domain which is the last part so if it this would be dot chickenkiller.com you want to go you can choose any of these or you can go many more available so you want to go here it goes shared domain registry. Now here you can choose from heaps and heaps and heaps. So of course I'll just go to space technology not net and there. So you want to add whatever you want to do. So this will be Minecraft um bucket tutorial and we'll go save. So now you have minecraft duck bucket tutorial to spake technology dot net and it'll be set to this IP which I am pretty sure mine has changed again. But anyway, that's how you make an um and how you want to set it up. It will be good. I'll just get I'll just pause the video and check back in just a sec. And we're back, so I just had to change the IP because it turns out my IP had changed again. So you will continuously need to do this. A way you can check is if you go to epicfruit.prizes.com, um, which I just go to, it usually says your IP down here. So you can continuously check if it's changed or not. I'll just get rid of that for now. So once you've done this, you want to open up your Minecraft. So just take a little bit so let's exit here and you also open up your bucket server and go into your server properties just bring these up over to the side get out of that and log in I have no idea what that was anyway so you see your server IP 10.0.0.15 so you can either log in uh, through this you can uh, put in your actual IP, which I'll just bring up again. I'll just copy this with hold on, I'm stuffing up. So that'll be my new server IP. So you want to bring up this and start your server. Just put this over here and watch it start up. Anyway, while that's starting up, we'll get back to this video. Um, you can actually connect to your server through single player command, like single player through this 10.0.0.15. Nobody else can connect your server through that. Uh, this here will be the server connection for anyone can join, and this will also be the one for anyone can join. Let's see if that's done. Yep, that is done. So we'll refresh. 
and here buildcraft space technology dot net as you can see I have three bars and four bars on these I don't know why exactly so if we just join the server maximize this see okay wow what when when did I get this what, what texture pack is Oh, so we just change my texture back. Just go in and we'll go to back to the faithful texture back. I don't want the default, I want faithful. This stuff's up a bit, so yeah, here we go. It's good now. I don't, I'm gonna get rid of a few of them this soon. Alright, so we're back. And um, this is my server, so we have. Owner, co-owner, sad manager, staff manager, and this is, I have a lot of spaces left, so this will be for warps. This is just a basic spawn. Um, over here, if you keep going north, we have an, uh, an epic skydive. So if you run, you can die from that anyway, because people sometimes place blocks down there. And don't know whose house that is. You can just go down here. So anyway, um, that's how to create a custom IP for your Minecraft 1.4.7 bucket server. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos on Minecraft tutorials and AQ worlds. So I thank you once more. Please do a like in the description and a comment. That would be great. So thank you and goodbye.